Hey guys, what would you do if you woke up one day with no electricity and no water? Keeping water in the house is extremely important. We have 10 cases of water in our house. There's only two of us. We also have two types of foods. We have MREs, which even whenever you don't have a fire, you can eat these cold and they're not so bad. And we have Mountain House. But if you still have water, you can still make meal. This one is chicken and mashed potatoes. Some of these are really pretty good. Now, if you have a water source and it's not the cleanest water around, they do make filters for that. These actually screw on to these water bottles. So if you can get the water into the bottle, you can filter it with these filters. We have not had to use these yet, which is a good thing. We also picked up four four-gallon water totes or just plastic bags. So you can actually have extra water, put them into a water bottle, filter them. I carry all this stuff in the Jeep also. Now I did a video on a backup battery called Marlboro, M-A-R-B-E-R-O. If you get something like this, it does have a light, a flashlight, it does have a hand crank, USB port so you can charge your phone, charge your laptops, whatever. You don't want to run the batteries out of this at night so that you can see. Yuko makes a long lasting candle. We use this in the winter time for both times that we've lost power here in Dallas with the snowstorms. They call them snowmageddon or whatever. Anyway, we kept warm and had light. Now, if you lose power in the summertime and it's 100 degrees like it is now, we have solar powered backup backup fans this one has a light bar here a flashlight solar panels on the back we did run these through two tornadoes that we've had here in dallas and on low overnight the fan will last up to eight hours so we had pretty good luck with these little things these were also on amazon and if you go on amazon you should be able to find it now providing everything has gone out, electricity, water, and the only thing that's left that's running is your car. And you still need to charge something like a laptop. Along comes the converter, inverter, whatever this thing's called. I've had this one since 2013 and it still works. It's only 100 watt, but it will charge a laptop. It will also charge your phone, USB. Now, a lot of vehicles come with a 110 in them. The Ford F-150 comes with a 110 in it also. The Jeep Renegade also comes with 160 watt in it. It's a 110, so it will charge your laptops and keep everything charged up. Just about every car on the market has these now, and they have a bunch of them in them. One thing we really say is make sure you have food and water on hand. You never know if it's going to be a tornado or if it's going to be snow, power outages because the power grid cannot handle the power. Or whether this crazy economy that we're going through right now is going to really screw your life up. Make sure that you have stuff on hand to survive. Even if it's only long enough to get you somewhere else where you can survive. Until next time, we'll, we'll talk to y'all later. Later, y'all.